Today we are trading legs and I'm gonna talk you through it. Plus we're gonna be making a super tasty and actually a really quick and easy meal prep recipe that I have been loving whilst trying to gain muscle. Welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. So today is Wednesday. We are on week three of my muscle gaining phase and I can't believe it. It's going so quickly. I feel like my body's starting to now like adjust because I'm going to be honest with you, like over the last week, I've really struggled to get the calories in. They're not even that high, but I've really struggled. And I think it just goes to show that when you eat more calories of better foods, so higher protein, foods that are actually going to fill you up, they're nutritious compared to things like McDonald's, sweets. It's actually really hard to get it in because it's so satiating. So yeah, it's been a bit of an adjustment and I've been feeling quite sick on some mornings it has got better now though which is great but i've pushed through <laughs> and i feel like we're at the other end of it like there was a moment where i was like is this morning sickness but no we're all good <laughs> it was just because i was just feeling really sick from all the extra food so i've been finding ways to kind of get the calories in without actually really filling myself up and it's been helping a lot so i've been having more simple carbs things like squares bars snacker jacks that's really helped me compared to like really filling foods so that is my my tip number one if you are struggling to get the calories in anyways i'm not going to stand here and lie to you and say it's first thing in the morning because it definitely isn't current time is quarter past one and i have had a really busy day but i wanted to do this video because i want to do a little bit of a body update i want to talk you through how i'm feeling changes that i'm kind of noticing then we're going to head to the gym i'm going to take you through a leg workout which i'm excited about i have got my mics because I was going to talk you through it, but this gym is so busy. So I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do the mic and I actually don't know if it's going to work with this camera, but I might just do a voiceover if not. So whatever I do, it'll be the same thing. And then after, yeah, we're going to do a delish meal prep recipe. Okay. So body update. I have been feeling slightly fluffier. Like I'd say my stomach and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Also, I'm sorry, but I put this jumper on. It is from Zara. And this has reminded me why I don't buy jumpers and stuff from Zara because look at my top. Like, can we see? I'm sorry. I'm literally like a woolly bear. Like all of the stuffing of this jumper has come out onto my top, which is just not great. So anyways. Okay, so this is week three into my bulk. Not tensing at all here. So this is what I'm looking like. I'm just feeling like a little bit more less toned, shall I say, which I guess is to be completely expected. Obviously we've increased carbs quite a lot. At the moment on training days, I'm eating 2,400 calories and on rest days, 2,100. So my carbs kind of vary between 250 to 300 give or take. So yeah, they do vary a little bit. I'm still in shape and I'm still toned 100%, but I just feel a little bit more watery. To be honest to you guys, it probably doesn't look like anything, but to me, I just kind of feel it. Like my leggings were a bit tight around the waist. But yeah, I'm really happy. I feel like my shoulders are starting to pop a little bit as well. Um, I don't know, like, I feel like here I've got a bit more bicep, but I've always had like, obviously I'm a girl, so I've got like small arms. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with like how I'm kind of filling out. From the side, my glutes are definitely starting to like lift you can see here that they're starting to like lift and they're feeling like a lot more fuller as well which is great and obviously from the side like i'm still obviously lean but i just feel like bloated which is fine like i said to be expected but yeah i'm really happy i actually haven't weighed myself and i'm not gonna lie to you and say that i have because i haven't and there's no point in me jumping on the scale now because it would just be really irrelevant like i've had lunch i see with this physique as well like i have had lunch this isn't first thing in the morning yeah overall um feeling happy and i'm just really excited and motivated motivated to push forward now and just see where we can get the fact that like i'm starting to see changes and i'm starting to feel better my sessions are going better it's just so motivating so i feel like if you have a goal make sure you take like progress photos make sure you log your weights when you're working out when you see those changes it's just the best thing and it gives you that extra boost to keep on going so just got to the gym last time i did a talk through workout i actually took you through my other leg workout so today we're doing a new one so i'll go through my top tips on how to perform each exercise how many sets reps i'm doing and just like how i'm feeling so you guys can get a gist as to like how energized i am and how much i'm actually pushing myself like a lot more now compared to when i wasn't trying to gain muscle 
so yeah we'll get in we'll get the workout done kieran's actually in here so i'm excited to see him haven't seen him in a couple weeks but oh my god guys i'm trying to put on a brave face and i don't want to tell you why until like after this workout i was i think i might cry but yeah something not very nice is going on today and i'm trying to like i don't know i'm trying to like tune it out of my head and not think about it but oh every time someone mentions it my eyes like water and i'm like oh my god oh my god so yeah i'll tell you after workout i was probably gonna sit here and cry my eyes out so yes let's get on have a good workout and let's not think about negative things right now um because no one needs that <laughs> starting off with a barbell hip thrust. I'm going to be aiming for 10 reps just at this lightweight. This is 70 kilo and this is just a nice kind of starting weight. I'm going to do it without the band for starters and just see how it feels and get that movement going. It's basically Breathing out on the way up. Are you gonna rate my hip thrust? <laughs> so still not at that working weight, just because I wanna get used to movement. And we got the band on this time, so that's gonna target my outer glutes a little bit more and just add a bit more stability. Nice, slow and controlled. Good? So. Let's do the first working set. We're going with 110 kilos, 12 reps. It's a nice controlled step. Second set, I'm going to stay with 110 kilos just because I failed at that 12 reps. <laughs> I got a lot going on, guys. Sometimes, not every day, you're going to hit your PBs and the weights that you've set out to. So, it is what it is. We're going to aim for 10 reps now because we're doing 12, 10, 8, 15. So, 10 reps. And obviously, I just got that last time. Feels better. Last one. Oh, I just got it again. Hey, that was better. Felt a bit better. So I started writing my workout stand in a book and uh, it's really helped with my motivation and like me remembering what I did previously. Um, so we just did 110 for 10. So next set is eight reps. So I'm gonna pop 2.5s in the end. This is 115 kilos. So set up the same, keeping the band on. I like it for stability to be honest. And it helps me to engage my outer glutes. Okay, hair. <laughs> Nothing worse than getting your hair literally cut behind you. Last rep. Oh. Eight. At 115. Definitely feeling a bit weaker today, but 
It is what it is. Whew. Last set. It would not be my leg workout if we were not doing a drop set. So we're working to 15 reps. I've dropped the weight to 70 kilos. So this will be like a really light heavy and you'll get what I mean when you do this workout. Because I like to if I leave my leg workouts with my butt firing. <laughs> To be honest, I probably could have gone a bit heavier there, but that's what the book's for. So I'm gonna write that down next week. Go heavier, probably go for like 80. See how that goes. Okay, so we're going on to first set of pantry curls. I'm making 15 reps. I've got it at oh my God, I've got it at 35, but we're gonna see how it goes because I don't normally train on this machine. So we'll just do like 15. To see how it goes. set on the leg press. I'm going to aim for 8 to 10 reps. Just nice and light to get the movement going because I've literally got 40 kilos here. Alright, now we're going to start loading it up. So I'm just going to pop on 40 kilos each side which is 80. I haven't actually done leg press in a while so I'm not sure what I'm going to go up to but we'll see. One thing I do is hate I hate loading up. Such an effort. <laughs> We're gonna see how that feels. Move that all the way up. Don't lock the knees out. Two more. Ah. All right. Set one done. What should I put the weight up to? What should I put the weight up to? Two more. Huh? Two more plates. Okay. Alright, so we're going to load it up to 120. That was quick mass. And have like a minute break. Obviously just to rest between sets. Okay, so second working set, we're going with 120. Let's see how this goes. I actually did 160 in the buy, so... But different machines, different weights, remember. So if you don't, you can just do a goblet squat. We're aiming for eight, eight reps. Couldn't speak them. The good thing about this machine is it lets you get really low. We're also remaining quite upright. Five. Six. Seven. 
eight. All right, so we're starting off nice and light at 40. Now we're up the weight. Strap myself. <laughs> we put two 10 kilo plates on. Eight reps again. That belt kind of digs in a bit, but it's all right. One more set. So going on to the last set, we're staying at the same weight. So we're doing three sets on this machine. And finishing off at 20, 20, 2, 4, 60 kilos. Hard to count that guys, my mask is horrendous. Try and get nice and deep. So last exercise, we're finishing off with some seated abductions. Now I always like to do triple drops set with these. So that means we're gonna drop the weight three times. So we're gonna start off with 35. Then we're gonna do like 10 ish reps on that. Then we'll drop the weight, then we'll do like another 10 reps. Then we'll drop the weight, then we'll do another 10 reps. Does that make sense? All right. So nice and controlled. Okay, we don't want to fail, so now I'm going to drop the weight. It's like 15. <sighs> 25 now, always 30. Three. Four. Five. Six. Two. Up. <sighs> oh my god. That is literally a killer. I love it. All right, guys, second set. We're actually starting at 40 this time, so we're gonna push ourselves a bit more. So we're gonna aim for 10. That's what... Okay, put the weight, 35. We're gonna aim for 10, but we might have to Okay, we've got 11 at 30. Breathe. Come on. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my good golly goat. All right, so workout done. Let's not look at this light right now because I know it is literally <laughs> making me look like a ghost. But that was a good session. I'll make sure I put the whole thing down below so that you guys can see it do it as well. And yeah, leg session number two of the week done. So one of the things that has been really helping me stay on track and just get the calories in that I'm currently on is actually meal prepping because it saves so much time and hassle. Because at the moment I've come back from that workout and I am starving, like I am so hungry, which is great, but it's an amazing opportunity to get in a really good meal. And if you have it in your fridge already, you can literally put it in the microwave and it's done and it's just so easy. So if you're struggling, make sure you're planning, make sure you're meal prepping, you know, do all the right things to help you get the calories in and stay on track. So I thought today we could actually go through one of my favorite meal prep recipes, which I'm loving. And if you saw on my Instagram story, then you'll know I've been loving a jacket potato recently. So we're actually gonna make coronation chicken, which is so delicious, it's so good. And I'm gonna be making it with a jacket potato. We're actually gonna be cheating and we're gonna be using these jacket potatoes, not an ad by the way, but I came across these and you know how jacket potatoes literally take about two hours to cook until they're good. These, pop it in the microwave and it's done in five minutes. It's so good. I think these are on sale at like two pound. Like I know that's a bit more expensive than normal potatoes, but when you think about the hassle, it could be a good option. So yeah, we're gonna be using these. What I will do, I'm gonna basically make the coronation chicken mix. And when it comes to like actually eating it and using it with your meal prep, I would just cook the jacket potato, then just add the coronation chicken to it. Do you know what I mean? Like don't pre microwave the jacket potato, like just microwave wave it when you want it. So yeah, this is how you make it and this is what you need. So we're gonna need these jacket potatoes from McCain. 
got some creme fraiche. This is a half fat one. We've got fat free Greek yogurt. Then we've got some sultanas, mango chutney. I've got 400 grams of diced chicken breast there. Then for spices, we've got some obviously lemon juice, mild curry powder and some cinnamon. So another thing I've done recently is try and get in more calories like easily and not feel so sick full is actually just to use normal oil. So it's kind of like, you know, like when you spend ages learning like how to kind of stay lean and stay in shape, it's kind of like undoing all of that. I don't know. It's weird. I feel like it's a weird switch, switching from like how to stay lean slash how to kind of just eat well. And then obviously when you're trying to gain muscle, you can be a little bit more free with it. Um, but yeah, it's fun, but it is strange. It's a weird feeling. So coronation chicken sauce is made. We've got our cooked chicken. Now we're just gonna add the sauce to chicken and give it a mix. And there you are. There is my coronation chicken. How good does that look? Now we just need to wait for the potato to cook. Honestly, look at that potato. It's like glistening. It's just perfect to be honest, like perfect potatoes. And it actually wouldn't be a jacket potato if we didn't add some butter to the middle. Finally, we're just gonna load it up with our coronation chicken. There is my coronation chicken for 477 calories and 47 grams of protein. That was honestly so easy. And what I would do is just obviously leave that to cool, then put it in the fridge in a Tupperware. And then whenever you want it, you can just heat up your jacket potato and serve it with your coronation chicken, which you can eat cold. So freaking easy, like meal prepping does not have to be complicated and neither does it eating healthy. So don't feel like you have to cook all these extravagant meals because you really don't. Lunch is done. It's a really late lunch. And to be honest, I'd probably only have like a smaller meal later at like eight o'clock. My day has just been so hectic. And sometimes the times that I eat just really vary. But yeah, like going into third week, it, it's fun. Like I'm loving increasing my calories and my weights and stuff. I know like my session today didn't go as well as I'd probably want it to. Like I still feel good. I didn't really hit any PBs this session. I was with Kieran also. I've just got so much on my mind at the moment. Put it short, my family dog who we've had for more than half my life she's now 17 she is not very well um and we're like just waiting to hear if they're gonna put her down or not which is really sad so yeah i've had that on my mind and i've been trying not to cry like all day but it sort of like just comes over me suddenly if i really think about it so <laughs> it's been like hard but I always say like in these situations when you're not feeling 100% just go and do something to take your mind off it like go to the gym go on a walk go and see some friends do you go know I mean like it's always better to do something rather than sit in the house and just feel really sorry for yourself because I was thinking about not filming today and then I just thought no do you know what I need to just go and do it and I need something to focus on um, and it went absolutely fine and do you know what you never ever regret a workout that you did so yeah just remember that one when you're not feeling that great but yeah moving forward plans are to stick at the same calories so obviously higher and training days lower on sedentary slash non-training days i'm training four times a week still three rest days because it just works the best for me i actually trained five days last week because on monday this week i was really busy so i wanted to get in my extra session on the sunday and do you know what guys it reminded me why i don't do five a week and it's just because i just i don't know it just doesn't go very well like i don't know if it's in my head i just feel fatigued and tired and i feel like my body needs that extra rest day and it's not my food to be honest because i'm so full so it's not that like it's just I am tired and I'm really pushing myself in my sessions and I'd rather really have four great sessions rather than five average ones and I always say this to people like if you don't have a lot of time on your hands don't go and plan yourself five to six gym workouts because it's not going to happen try and be realistic with everything and you know just make sure that you write a plan that you can stick to yeah I hope you enjoyed today's lower body workout that is my second one if you want to see more of this kind of content then let me know obviously with the meal prep as well that can actually be left in the fridge for three days so you could just leave the coronation chicken and like I said, reheat the potato. It's a really quick and easy recipe. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. I will see you at the same time next week. And thank you so much for supporting me. Bye-bye.